Hey there, Northern Beekeepers. Welcome back. Uh, today, it's October 20th. Um, it's going to be about the last nice flying day of the year here for us in Wisconsin. Um, got a little fog here this morning. But uh, otherwise, kind of cool and damp. Um, it's supposed to get up to maybe 60 degrees a day. But uh, after that, temps look pretty cool. So, today we'll be... Uh, winterizing the hives, putting the foam boards around them, uh, tar paper, concrete blankets, etc. So I thought I'd just show a little before picture. Got my son on here helping me pick up the feed buckets. <clears throat> All these hives back here, we'll have to uh, push them together, kind of get them consolidated, and get all these girls ready for winter. It's uh, it's that time. Okay guys, here's some of uh, what I'm going to be using. These are the concrete blankets that I mentioned. They come in a pack of three where I bought them from uh, the contractor supply store. And I've already got some uh, pre-cut two inch pink foam board. And there's my tar paper for the front. Got a few extra pallets there that'll be shifting some hives over on. So, kind of getting ready here. We're gonna start moving the uh, moving the hives. Okay, guys, uh, got all the hives here consolidated. As you can see, everybody's pushed together nice and tight for the winter. They'll be able to share their uh, heat together. It'll help with the thermal mass. Again, the more mass you have, the easier it is to keep that area warm. So that's kind of why I'm doing that. Here on this hive stand, uh, I'll put these guys together. I'll have to add some foam board here between the ones that I use the telescoping cover. I've kind of gone away from them for that reason. You really can't get the hives tight. I like the migratory better for that reason. And uh, that's kind of why I've switched to that. And don't really have any of these telescopes telescoping covers anymore trying to get rid of them so right now we'll be uh, putting the tar paper on the front and getting ready to put the concrete blankets on all right guys we're back uh, got most of it done I started doing the tarp but the Sun came out and then the bees started flying they got a little cranky so I didn't get all the uh, tar paper done just got it on a couple but anyways, you can see what I did there here on the ends. I've got this uh, pink foam board and then the uh, ratchet straps holding everything together. I've got a concrete blanket on the back and a concrete blanket on the top. Kind of same thing down here on the end. You know, I've got pallets and uh, boards and stuff holding everything down so the wind doesn't blow them off. We'll walk over here and kind of the same thing on all of them there. And then here on the, uh, the one or two that I did get the tar paper on, <clears throat> you just uh, staple those down and kind of cut a hole with your utility knife around the openings and uh, then the bees can get out. So that black tar paper that'll help absorb some heat in the winter time now transfer to the hive. You know, you can see <clears throat> there they're already using some of the upper entrance right there. So you just kind of cut around it. Cut around the bottom holes here where they can still get out. And this will help also block any wind that the bees may not have propolized uh, within the hives around the joints and stuff. So that'll help keep the wind off as well. So got all them done. I did move hives around so it's a bit of a chaos in the apiary today. And then here's these elevated hives. I got all them uh, crammed together as well. Got the tar paper on. They're elevated a little bit. A couple of them have screen bottom boards. I got that covered back up. Upper entrances already. Got rocks in there for the wind. We got rain here the next couple of days and then cold and uh, winter is going to finally set in for us here in Wisconsin. 
Hope everyone has their winter preps ready for their bees where they're at. You probably only got a week or two left before winter really sets in. Everyone have a good day. Subscribe, hit that like button. Talk to you later.